Thank you for watching the Southern California Bookkeeping Information Technology video on daisy chaining your VOIP phone and your fax converter box. Today what we'll do is we'll show you how to set up both a fax converter box and your VOIP phone with your computer if you don't have another hub or router port available. Today what we'll do is we'll take the internet wire that's going into the back of your computer, we'll unplug it, and we'll take the wire and we'll plug it into the WAN port, W-A-N port, on the fax converter box. What we'll then do is we'll take the blue wire that came with the fax converter box, we'll unravel it, and we'll plug it into the LAN, L-A-N port, on the fax converter box. We'll then take the blue wire that we have left plugged into the LAN port on the fax converter box. We'll flip over our VOIP phone and we'll plug the blue wire that we just plugged into the LAN port on our fax converter box into the internet port on the back of the VOIP phone. We'll then take the black ethernet wire that came with the VOIP phone and plug it into the PC port on the back of the VOIP phone. What we'll then do is take the black wire and we'll plug it in to the back of the computer. What that will do is it will allow the internet to travel through the daisy chain to the fax converter box, from the fax converter box to the VOIP phone, and from the VOIP phone to the computer. And you'll have service on all three. As you can see, we'll now get a dial tone on the VOIP phone. As you can see, while the VOIP phone is dialing, the activity lights on the fax converter box are blinking, which shows that the internet is passing through the fax converter box to the VOIP phone Thank to the you computer. For calling Southern California Bookkeeping and Information Technology. We're sorry we can't make it to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thank you. That concludes our training video on daisy chaining the VOIP phone and fax converter box.